Hello YouTube and YouTube pipe community. This is Mozilla here back with another video. This fine cool evening. I haven't felt uh, or been outside when it was this cool for a while. I think it's only about 73 out, not too humid. A little windy as you can probably see the camera moving around, but um, gonna be a special, uh, special Yabo this evening. Um, first of all, I wanted to show another uh, print I did with the printer last night. I'm actually working on one today as well. Um, so uh, my last video, I think you've seen the um, the pipe kind of caddy. Um, I decided to make one of these for the Bic lighters that I can just kind of sit on the table and put my lighters in. I always have a bad habit of laying lighters everywhere and I can never find them when I need them. Um, and then I'm also working right now, um, printing right now is a, it's similar um, kind of idea is it's gonna be a stand up uh, Zippo display. It'll, it'll show five Zippos in there. Um, I was thinking about doing a five, uh, 15, a 15 display, which would be five with three rows, but it didn't seem to like that as much. It seemed like it was gonna take up too much room. So um, today, I was smoking. Uh, there's actually a, a Bones billiard that my dad had given me a while back. You see, it's got a lot of a lot of smokes through it. Uh, really colored up, real nice. In it, I am smoking some jackknife ready rub that I had also gotten from him. So, um, like I said, today we have a special box opening and from Jay Mouton. Um, and this should be the pipe that he had made for my dad's uh, Sweet Smokes benefit auction. Um, now I wanna say first off, uh, I had really mixed feelings. Uh, going into that, you know, I seen the pipe, um, beautiful pipe, the stamp, um, and you know, it caught my eye and I was, I was kind of bouncing, bouncing off my head up until the moment I ended up bidding on it, um, whether or not it was the right thing for me to do. Um, you know, with it being for dad, um, all his friends and everything there, um, I just kind of felt like maybe it wasn't my place. Um, but then I kind of got to thinking, well, if, it's, if I turned around and dad was in my shoes, um, I'm sure he would have done the same thing. And I guess I would have felt proud that he did that. So um, that's kind of where I ended up. And uh, I have some, have some ideas for this pipe, but let's go ahead Let's get her unboxed. I could unbox it without this guy. Uh, you can kind of see in there it says blade. Sorry, I don't know how to reverse the video. I don't know if this is going to come back through backwards, but uh, you can see it's got a little bit of a... He must have burned it or something, but it says blade there. And then um, here it's got his initials there. Um, this is a knife that he had made. Um, I don't know when. It's probably been a while. It's got some serious jimping he did on it. Like, I put my thumb on here, and that's like a saw. So I need to start using this knife some more and get this wore down a little bit because I'm about to saw my finger off. But anyhow, let's get going here. We'll just, hopefully I can slice the top open here. Not too much hassle. I don't got too much room on the table here, so. I'm sharp as sharp as an ox so knife down here here's the box 
and you can see up there, signature. We'll go ahead and we'll just cut that seal open. Got a sticker, that's cool. Real nice. Pipe sock. And a card. And it says thank you on the back. Thank you, Jason. All right, so it's got this nice little bow on the top. We'll go ahead and we'll pull this off. I'm hoping I don't, I'm trying to keep it over the box just in case I drop it off here. Um, oh, wow. So, oh, wow. Videos and the pictures did not do this thing justice. So here it is. Wow, this thing has got some crazy rustication on it. It has some cool, cool rustication. And then the bottom, Sweet Smokes. Just a beautiful pipe. I like this. Um, at least it was fossilized walrus tusk, I believe. Maybe that was. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't believe that what it was. And then here's his. If I can get this to focus. This camera is not really meant for this kind of stuff. But the stamp there on the bottom. Ah, so yeah, this is. Uh, tugging at my heart a little bit here um, you know this is gonna this pipe is gonna stay with me for a long time and um, let me get this in the sock so I don't do nothing with it wind is gonna grab all the packaging here So, uh, like I said, I can't thank everyone enough. Um, you know, it's still, I, you know, I still don't have words for watching that auction. I just, it, it was mind blowing. Um, seeing all the people there, all the support, all the kind words, um, the nations, the bidding was just incredible. Um, had a lot of fun watching it, and I'm sure Dad had a great time too. Um, you know, um, you know, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard without him. Um, it was kind of, uh, it's kind of funny because whenever I went there, to the, uh, you know, went there to visit them. Uh, at one point, me and my wife were living in a pretty small uh, apartment. It was just a one bedroom apartment. And uh, we had the, the two kids and, you know, we had enough room and it wasn't like, it wasn't like it was terrible, but not a lot of room to do much of anything. I kind of remember him always saying, you know, he was always trying to give me a bunch of stuff, tobacco, pipes, knives, whatever it was he was working on. It was, hey, you want to take this? And I, you know, I'd always gonna be like, eh, you know, dad, I don't got a lot of room, you know, I'm sorry. And then uh, we actually bought our house. Uh, we bought our house two years ago. Um, and we actually bought it. Um, I do have a, a daughter that's handicapped, 
um it had a ramp on the house when we bought it and my dad said great um i'll be on my way up and you know he got he was sick and he never did make it up um you know with with covid going on he kind of um, that kind of held him back and then he was sick there for a while so um like i said i just want to you know, thank everyone but and uh getting a little bit off track but essentially so when we moved in <laughs> he had uh he said, well, you got enough room. Come come get all this stuff now. <laughs> I didn't have an excuse no more. So um, I had to take a few things here and there every time we stopped by. Um, so, you know, I'll miss that kind of not really so much the, uh, you know, the hassle. It was just always so hard to say no to him. Um, you know, that's one thing he was always, you know, trying to give stuff out and you know, uh, telling him no just didn't work. You know, he would remember, he would, like I said, he, you know, he knew right when we got the house, all that stuff I told you, um, you can come pick it up now. So, but anyhow, uh, so with this pipe, uh, told you I was going to tell you a little bit what my plans were with it. So, um, Um, I was thinking real hard. I wanted a good reason to get the pipe. I didn't just want to bid on it. Like I said, I, I had a real, not really a guilty feeling, but I, I, it just didn't feel right um, to me um, to be bidding on it. Um, so I was, you know, I was thinking to myself, well, why do I deserve this? and what meaning will it have to me so i was thinking i said yeah i like i said i think dad would be proud that i got it um not sure if a lot of you know but he actually has a seven day set from um jason uh, mouton uh, pipes and or j mouton pipes and really beautiful pipe set um so what we've kind of decided, I was talking to my mom, um, not sure if I've told my sister yet or not, but um, we're going to kind of keep an area for him at the house um, with some of his pipe stuff there, kind of just like, so he feels, you know, so he feels welcome uh, whenever he wants to stop by. So we're gonna. I haven't. I haven't really looked at the the, the actual. Uh, the holder or the there's some I think magnetic balls that go inside the pipes to hold the pipes. I haven't looked at that. I'm not sure if that's something that can be mounted or not, or if it uh, has to sit flat. But either way, uh, we'll have something up there for him. And then my plan is. Um, I'm going to keep this pipe there at the house, um, at my mom's place. And I'm going to try to, uh, just make a, you know, a small rack that can kind of either sit above it or on the side of it. My tamper here, got my socket wrench for my tamper because it's the only thing I have laying around. Um, but it'll it'll sit the house and uh, when I go up to talk to dad, um, I'll bring that pipe with me and that'll be solely what it's used for. Um, <clears throat> you know, I've, like I said, I've, I feel like, you know, it's a sweet smoke. And I can't, I can't have a sweet smoke without dad. So this makes it that much sweeter. Um, and if my kids ever get to the point where they get into pipes, then that will go to them and they can, 
go to see their grandpa and have some smokes as well. So, like I said, uh, that's my plans. I think it's a good thing to do. So I appreciate everyone that was there um, participating and all the kind words. And you know, this, the money that was raised was just, it was mind blowing. Um, family can't thank you, thank you enough. Um, it's just, it's incredible. You know, I knew, I knew dad, you know, was on YouTube and stuff. Um, you know, I had heard about the house party, but I really didn't know what it was. You know, and there was a few times where I had called, um, you know, either talk to mom or want to talk to dad and mom would say, oh yeah, dad's on house party. I said, oh, okay. <laughs> it seemed like more and more I called, dad's on house party. And, uh, you know, I, I was... I'd go back and forth on his YouTube and stuff and watch videos and kind of see what he was up to. And then, you know, uh, his YouTube kind of just went down and I thought, well, I mean, maybe he's, you know, I knew he was still working on stuff, but oh, maybe it's, maybe it's house party. Maybe he's moving on to this or it's some other kind of platform. So then I found out after watching all these videos, what house party was. And, um, I got to see some action of that. I believe it was, um, well, maybe that wasn't house party. That might have been Zoom. Um, but they had posted a video where they were doing some some chats and stuff. Um, sharing some stories with Dad that I really enjoyed yesterday. I was actually planning on coming out and having a smoke and doing a video. And uh, the video caught my eye. And I figured, well, I'll just have a smoke and watch this and enjoy myself. So that's what I did. Um, great time. Great stories. You know, I... That's one thing that, you know, I love the most and what I'm so grateful for, um, for YouTube is, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of times where, you know, you lose a loved one and, you know, you have pictures and you have some videos, you know, maybe with them in it, not necessarily talking to the camera or anything, but, you know, you might see them. But having all the videos that he had and going back and back and watching those and, you know, my daughter, she loves, she loves watching them. You know, she always says, oh, grandpa, grandpa, and, you know, knows who he is. And, uh, you know, that's something that it really made me feel a lot better, um, you know, about the situation. I know it's. It, you know, it's not the same, but there's a lot of people that aren't as lucky as I am that can go back and, you know, I think he has over 500 videos, um, probably averaging at least five minutes a piece. You know, that's a lot of time um, that I can spend listening to dad. And there's always stories in those the hidden stories. There's some of them I haven't watched and, you know, I still, I still hear stories and, uh, like I said, it's just great to hear hear people talking about that and, um, you know, things that I might not even know and that, he had talked to others about. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I guess, like I said, uh, that pipe's really going to mean mean a lot to me. It's going to be hard, I know, going up there. I can't keep this guy lit. But, uh, you know, it's something he wants, so. And that's, you know, <clears throat> when I came down to it, I, you know, that's kind of what pushed me into it, so. But yeah, I guess that's, you know, that's really all I have to say. I mean, I just can't, like I said, 
I couldn't make a video thanking everyone enough. There's just so, just all the comments, the videos, just everything is just, it's just amazing. It's, you know, dad was, um, at one point he was, he was real, uh, say, you know, he was really, his self-esteem wasn't very high. And he was kind of, you know, he didn't like being in pictures or on video. Um, but, you know, when he got into YouTube, it's something he got comfortable with. And, you know, frankly, it didn't bother him. Um, so... something he enjoyed and he enjoyed it enough where he was able to kind of put that behind him and keep going through and I'll be thankful for thankful for everyone that kind of just helped him you know go along with his journey as uh, you know he was going he was going through some rough times and everyone was just kind of there for him and you know there was a uh, couple times by he wasn't feeling very good at all and you know just having having known that people are there for him and watching out for him and people looking forward to talk to him I'm sure that helped him uh, you know get through the day or maybe the week that he was having that was rough um, so I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and end this here. Like I said, I've been going on quite long. Um, just want to say uh, thank you again to Jason um, for putting that benefit on, making the pipe, um, and giving me the honor to um, have that pipe and, you know, have all these great memories. And like I said, it's it'll stay around. <laughs> It's not going nowhere, so uh, you know, kind of made, like I said, kind of been thinking about it, and that's really what I want to do, and I uh, think that's what Dad would have done. So, well, I'll go ahead and end this with Dad's trademark saying. I'll make sure I put the trademark sign in the comments so I don't get flagged for infringement but uh take care sweet smokes and i'll catch you later